Hey, I'm Travis from Samson Men's Emporium. Today, I'm going to bring you into my closet, insert gay pun here. I wanted to go through a lot of the accessories. So we're doing Accessories 101. There are a lot of accessories that come with being a guy. And we are gonna start with the toes and go all the way up to the head, work our way up. I'm just gonna go through the basics, what every guy needs to have, some things you can add to it, take away. So we're gonna start with the toes, which is gonna be your shoes. So obviously all kinds of shoes. We can go with tennis shoes, we can go with dress shoes, more casual shoes. Every guy should have a brown pair of shoes and a black pair of shoes, no matter what. Across the board, every guy should have a brown shoe and a black shoe. If you then wanna go into boots, then you should do a brown boot or a black boot. Some people just wear black, so that's fine if you wanna do that. I tend to wear more brown, so I kind of focus more on my brown shoes. From shoes, we have socks. Uh, obviously in the summertime, you can totally go without socks like I'm doing today with the driving moccasins. If you wanna do a sock, you always, always, always want to make sure that it's going to look good with the shoe and also look good with the pant. I know crazy socks are all the thing, and you know what, that's one of those things that you can definitely put your own personality into it. But if you're at a more formal event, you wanna always try to match your sock to your pant. So if I'm wearing gray pants, I'm gonna to wanna to do a gray sock. Then we go into belts. So we're working our way up to belts. Belts, you should always have, once again, a brown belt and a black belt. You always wanna match your shoe to your belt. That is, you gotta do it, guys. I really like having different types. Sometimes I want silver, sometimes I wanna wear gold. The ones I sell at the store, you can do a black on black. So you, this will go with everything. And these thinner belts are great. They can go with more of a dressy outfit, but also a more casual outfit for spring, summer, like I'm doing today with this outfit. I could wear this same belt with a suit, no one would ever know. But also it's a great casual belt for spring, summer. The thicker belts, I would do more for fall, winter. You also have a lot of cloth belts. These are super fun for summertime, a lot of great colors. I have tons of different types of belts here. I don't wear them as often as I used to, but I really like having the fun plaid belts, striped belts, cloth belts. We're gonna work our way up to neckwear. So in the summertime, I love this. I've been trying to rock this for quite a while. I love a good neckerchief. So this is from Fine and Dandy, the one we sell at the store. Uh, it's cut more into a triangle, so it's not as much weight on it. So you take this, you tie it off, wear this with a collared shirt um, or a short sleeve shirt or just a t-shirt. It looks really great, really elevates your look. You can also just do a regular bandana. This is just a regular square bandana that we also sell at the store, but a very nice quality one out of Columbus at Manistee Logmarks. You then have your more formal neckwear, your ties, your bow ties. And I always try to keep these in a special box so they're not gonna get ruined. I don't hang them out so they just get dusty. I just buy one of those cheap little boxes at Container Store and keep all my ties and bow ties in that, keeps everything safe and everything at the same spot. That's also where I keep handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs are great. A lot of guys like to throw them in the back pocket, have a little spice back there. My grandpa used these to blow his nose all the time back in the day. Still see some guys that do that. These are a little bit more special. These are gonna be more of like a pocket square. Uh, but you can also obviously use it as a hanky as well. These are also fine and dandy. Cufflinks. If you are wearing a more formal shirt, like a French cuff shirt, uh, you gotta have your cufflinks also. Once again, I keep those in the same box with my ties and bow ties and all that proper formal wear. So I can just pull that one box out and everything's at my disposal. And then we get into jewelry. Jewelry, just like cufflinks, is that little extra piece that every guy wants to play with and have their own personal style. I don't do a ton of jewelry. I like a nice watch. I tend to collect a little bit of Omegas. I have my grandfather's watch I wear a lot. The Jack Mason watch, which I sell at the store. And then I get into some bracelets. I just do something very easy. I either do just like a nice gold cuff. I always like this one. This was my dad's from the 60s. Um, so I like to wear this every once in a while also, which is really fun. And then you can get into rings. So lots of ring options. I always have my signature ring that I always wear. And that's something I would advise you to get. Invest a little bit into a signature ring that you always have on that is yours, something you can maybe pass down to your child someday. This is something special I found. I actually had my grandfather's gold band melted into it. So this is my ring. I love this ring. You also can do a nice silver ring. 
tried, I try to match my medals as best I can, but I always have this ring on, so more or less I'm usually doing gold. Necklaces, um, I don't do a ton of necklaces. If I do, I love this beaded necklace. Unfortunately, we don't have these anymore. I loved these. These are from a tribe in Vietnam. They're all tangled up right now. These are great for the beach. Great for summertime, going to the pool. Uh, nice kind of great color underneath. This actually would look kind of cool with the shirt I have on now. And then I have this great sterling necklace uh, that I just get charms from around the world. This one's from Greece, this one's from Australia, this one's from New Zealand. Places I go uh, that I like a lot, I, I tend to get little charms and I add to this. And it's just something I do. Sunglasses. Sunglasses, obviously you have your, your goofy fun ones. I like to wear these when I go biking or if I'm at a pool. If I leave them, it's no big deal. These are gooder. They're like 25 to 30 bucks, which is great. But then you get into, these are my favorite glasses. These are from Rain. We sell these at the store and I love, love, love a wireframe glass, but we do a, most of our glasses are gonna be that acetate. And then of course, think about your eyeglasses. So I am now to the age where I have to wear eyeglasses when I get up close. So eyeglasses you wanna keep handy, you want to keep in a clean spot, you don't want to ruin your glasses, so also you will always want to know where they are. So I always keep my glasses in the same spot over and over. I think that's very important. Most of the time, all of this is in my closet. Eyeglasses I do keep downstairs just because it's a little easier to find. Then we get into hats. Hats, love it, leave it, it's up to you once again. I think I look terrible in hats, uh, so I don't tend to wear them a lot. And that goes for ball caps or anything. I don't know, I think it's my nose, I don't know. But this hat, every year I would bring it in from Stetson. I loved this hat. I would always put this hat on. I think it looks okay on me. So I wore this for a wedding, I love it. I added a little Brackish lapel pin, uh, which can also be a hat pin. And this is from Brackish in Charleston, South Carolina. Give a little pop, it kind of matched my suit that I wore that day. And I really love this hat, it's one of my favorites. Uh, but also your ball caps and all, keep in your closet, keep somewhere close that you can always grab and use. So I hope this just just a touch, just a taste of the accessories. Down the road, I wanna go a little deeper. I wanna talk a lot more about belts. I wanna talk a lot more about shoes. So we will definitely go into that. I just wanted to give a good one-on-one -on, -one on what you need, what you don't need, but also what is your personal taste level and what can you really use and love and take care of. These are things that you can pass down someday if you take care of them. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of tour of my closet. I actually built this closet myself, so I hope you enjoyed that. And once again, as my grandfather always says, don't forget who you belong to. I'm Travis Sampson from Sampson Men's Emporium. Come and check us out anytime at the shop or online.